Hey, it's Caden, and I'm starting to get better at looking at the mirror, at the mirror, at the camera. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about gender roles and gender norms, because they're not needed, but a lot of people think they are needed, and yeah. Yeah. My hair's faded a lot, like look over here, it's like blonde. It used to be half blue and half pink, but now it's like green and yellow. Okay, so, speaking about blue and pink, actually, a lot of people still associate blue with, like, a boy's color and pink with a girl's color, and it was really interesting because last week I couldn't post a video because I was away, but I was watching, like, this 50s TV show, and someone got murdered because of, like, this child... I don't really know. It was confusing. I was like, whatever, I'll just watch it. There's, like, nothing else on. And it was, like, really interesting. But the way they found out who murdered the person was because this one guy got a blue blanket for a baby that was a girl. And it's like, okay, like, I guess you can pinpoint it on that because it's like tradition at the hospitals but it's like at the same time it's like it's it's a blanket you're gonna call this guy a murderer because of a blanket yeah so that was just an interesting thing that I noticed honestly I think this video is gonna be all over the place just because there's a lot of stuff like in so many stories I've heard and also it's summer so like with no actual schedule in my life I I'm I lose it. There's one thing that I read about people that were complaining about, I think it was Target and Walmart putting like boys and girls toys together. So like they would put dolls with, I don't know, like superhero stuff. I don't, I don't know. And people were complaining like, oh, how, how do I know what to get my grandson or granddaughter now? And a lot of people were saying, well, I mean, you could just get to know your child, your grandchild, or child, or cousin, or whoever better, instead of like, mm, this 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 doll looks looks girly enough. I'm gonna get this for my daughter, you know? Like, no. <laughs> um, and it's like I feel like what Target slash Walmart and other stores that, that was, must have been a really attractive face right there. I feel like what they're doing is really good and beneficial because. It is starting to crack down on, like, the gender roles or gender norms, like, boys like construction and girls like dolls, and it's like, mm, yeah. What I also really like about it is, this, why is this so shaky? Stop. Okay. Another thing that I like about it is that, um, it's breaking down the whole masculinity and femininity femininity it's like an enemy I can't it's hard to say um but like it's almost breaking the idea that boys can't play with dolls and girls can't I don't know girls can't be into construction and like explosive science things like there was the one advertisement during the Super Bowl and I'm trying to remember what it was for it might have been for coca-cola I don't know it was like some big company and I remember really liking it and it was about this girl who wanted to do all these really cool like construction-y science things and like whenever she was like holding a wrench or like about to pour something into like the fake volcano her parents or someone else would be like whoa 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 let your dad let your brother something like let them do it because you're a girl or like we don't want you to get hurt and so then she grew up and then she was in high school and behind this bulletin board there was a poster for um a science fair and she looked at it but then she ended up putting on lip gloss instead of actually being interested in the science fair and then the message was something like don't 
knock down her dreams or something like that. I can't remember the exact thing. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description below, but it'll it'll take me some time because and I, I, I know nothing about that. I, I can't remember it. It also, getting rid of like gender and social norms, it breaks down the, it, yeah, it breaks down the idea of like, how do I put this? Of like, girls are, it breaks down the notion that girls are weak and like should stay in the kitchen. It breaks, oh, it breaks away from those like stereotypes and stuff. And it also breaks away the stereotypes of like, oh yeah, the dads do all the work like at the job and the moms stay home. When really like, it's a mix. Sometimes both parents work, sometimes the dad works and the mom stays home, sometimes the mom stays home, sometimes the dad stays home and the mom goes to work. So it's like, it just breaks down a lot of those things. And then also personally, my dad is a nurse and my little brother um, a lot of people were, like, poking fun at him, like, your dad's a nurse? That's a girl's job. And, like, that's such, like, a small example, but, like, if we can just get rid of that totally, it'd be great. Because, like, the less negative stereotypes and stuff in the world that we have, the happier, safer, more accepting planet will be. Yeah. But, yeah, um... I know I missed a lot of stuff, but honestly, I could talk for hours about all of these different stories and other things, and this is already a six and a half minute video, so, I mean, I can make a second video if you guys want to hear more stories, um, but yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye!